Let's say you've eaten some takeout or been to a restaurant and then brought home your takeout in a cardboard box. It may be like this, it may look like one of those little takeout ones you can carry. Can these actually go in the microwave and what happens when you put a cardboard takeout box in the microwave? Is it gonna catch on fire? Is it going to explode or is nothing going to happen? That's what we're going to find out today. So in it goes, I'm gonna start it on one minute and see what happens. I'm expecting nothing to happen after a minute, but as we do it for longer, maybe it'll catch on fire, who knows? So let's check in after a minute and see how it looks. Okay, so one minute down, and as we can see, it's quite, it's quite warm. It's actually quite hot to touch if we get our thermometer here. You know, we can see it's 72 degrees Celsius or 163 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, but obviously you're gonna quickly get cooler, but that that's quite hot. I actually had my partner's sister, who's only 12, apparently put some McDonald's in the microwave and left it on for four minutes and it caught on fire. So we didn't have McDonald's, but we've got a paper takeout box. So let's give it a bit more time, hey, let's go. Let's go for the full hog, the full five minute mark and see if we can set this baby on fire. Okay, we're a bit over a minute in and there are some little crackling noises from the microwave. And I don't know if there's a smell coming through or not. We'll give it a bit longer and see. Okay, we're about two minutes in, and while there's no sound and the light in my microwave is broken, I can definitely smell something. I'm gonna actually stop it, and let's see what we're dealing with here. Okay, you can't smell that, but it definitely smells, it smells a bit burnt. This feels hot, I can still touch it. How hot is this? Okay, this is, you know, boiling basically. It's quickly going down, but it was over 100 degrees Celsius a second ago. Quickly going down at the moment. Bit dangerous, I'm a bit nervous to keep this experiment going, but okay, it's, it's, it smells okay now. Let's, let's give it another go. Okay, we have about 20 seconds to go. There's a definite smell coming from the microwave now. So it'll be really interesting to open this and to see what happens. We had two minutes and then it's gone for another three minutes. We're also gonna measure the temperature as soon as we open it. So three, two, one, here we go. All right, there's no, nothing's on fire. 163 degrees Celsius, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so while this didn't catch on fire at the moment, I can touch that, I guess because it's so thin. I can touch it. That was just, I think, some mess from before. But yeah, it didn't catch on fire this time, but I can imagine if you put it in there for a lot longer, it could catch on fire. It got extremely hot. We're gonna have to do an experiment with thinner paper. So. This girl who was 12 or 13 had put McDonald's in there and apparently it caught on fire. Maybe she'd put the whole bag in and it was a thinner paper and obviously being scrunched up as well because this is smooth all around, it's less likely to create sparks and catch on fire. So maybe some thinner scrunched up paper could do the trick. So I'll go ahead and do that experiment and link up to that. Go ahead, check it out. Can you put cardboard takeout containers in the microwave? The answer is yes, but they obviously get extremely hot. So you need to watch them and make sure they don't catch on fire. Imagine if we did this long enough, it could catch on fire, but I just don't have the patience for it. Let's go ahead and try it with paper and see what happens. So you can do it, but just be cautious about it and watch it as it's in there and just monitor it. And maybe if you're heating up food in here, you know, 
heat it up for a couple of minutes, then open up the door, give the cardboard time to cool down. As we saw it cooled down super quickly, we can see here, look, it's now only 51 or 125 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's cooled down super quickly. Maybe, you know, do a couple of minutes, cool it down, couple of minutes, cool the paper down. So your food heats up, but the paper doesn't burn. That's just my tip, but go ahead, check out the experiment that I'm gonna do with scrunched up paper and we'll see if we can set fire to this thing.